Welcome back guys to another video. Um, first thing I need to address really quickly, now that I'm kind of a big deal and can make community posts, can't really be doing free sponsorships anymore like this. Uh, so let's just go ahead and address that before we continue here. All right, so now that we've taken care of that, um, we're gonna be watching, I know it's November, but we're gonna be watching some spooky videos because here at Dasher Pass, we don't cast any holiday biases, and I want to watch some scary DoorDash TikToks with you guys. Story time. I'm so shaken up right now. So I never DoorDash at night. Long story short, I needed a little extra money by tomorrow, so I decided to DoorDash tonight. It's currently 10, 10 p.m. This happened like five minutes ago. So I go to Wendy's, get this order. I'm driving to... Already pretty scary. Wendy's the house or whatever and I get a call from the people so I answer I'm like hey how you doing he's like hey this is Michael like you have my DoorDash order and I'm like yeah what's up is everything okay and he's like yeah I meant um I put on the DoorDash to leave at my door but I meant to put hand it to me which sketched me out because like what the fuck why why does it even matter and I don't want to get out the car and he's just staring staring at me like so I stick my head out the window. I'm like, hey, do you mind coming and getting it from my car? Because I am I get a little sketched out at night. And he's like, oh, you don't have to be scared around me. And I like laughed it off. I was like, well, I don't really know you. So better to be safe than sorry, right? And I swear to God, y'all, at that moment, he sticks his hand in his pocket and he pulls out a butterfly knife. I think I know maybe one guy that doesn't have a butterfly knife. To be fair, they're pretty freaking sick maybe don't pull a knife on someone that has a two-ton vehicle and can just run you over because if you pull a knife that's that's free game for me at that point i'm just gonna you know hit you and uh go back and pick up some more orders so uh see you later use doordash at 3 a.m back in 2019 a woman just got home from a late night at work she was so okay this tiktok is already scary because of the way this guy talks and i i can't do it i'm out this is the time i almost got murdered door dashing i wanted to see how much money you can make in 24 hours straight so i downloaded doordash signed up got my prius and went out doordash 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 but at night things started to get weird doordash took me 15 miles away to pick up an order at this mcdonald's but the lights were on you drove 15 Wait, did he? He said 15 miles? Oh, this is. Oh, this is Pri Che. He's doing some challenge. Okay. I was like, never do that in the first place. The screens weren't on and it just was quiet. I was just going to sit there until I heard something on the screen because DoorDash shouldn't ever send you to a closed restaurant. But as I was sitting there, I started to hear footsteps. I really didn't think anything of it until they started getting closer. Listen closely. You can literally hear them. Truthfully, I have no idea who that was. All I could see was a shadow. But it was walking fast and with the purpose, so I don't think it was a homeless man and it definitely wasn't a manager. I'm not kidding. Look at my arms. I got my hair standing up. This is the time I almost got I don't think you're about to get murdered. I think you might maybe maybe a, a light stabbing, you know? A light stabbing. But it murders a little much. Oh, uh, where I'm delivering at? It's out in the middle of nowhere. But look at this. Oh my gosh, dude. That was no. That was their last dash. <laughs> I forgot the barbecue sauce. Okay, so this story is like from another level. We're sitting watching TV and we hear a knock at the door. So my husband goes down to check it out and I get up to look out the window. And I look and I'm freaking out because I recognize the car immediately. It was our DoorDash driver from last night and the reason I remember the car is because he was so sketchy. So my husband answers the door and he's like, Nicole. And my husband's like, there's no Nicole here. And why would he have any reason to come back to our address anyways? So then he leaves and he like looks up at the window and I'm like, and then he proceeds to drive back and forth past our apartment like four times. But the difference is I got the food last night, so I'm thinking that he thought I lived here alone. Oh yeah. Big pass. Big pass. That's why DoorDash needs maybe a little more uh, criteria. Now that we got 10 million drivers, maybe we can up the security a little bit when it comes to who we hire. I don't know. There's no way with the with the screening process, it's just inevitable that some crazy DoorDash driver is going to turn out to be a, a serial killer, and this is how he finds his victims. 
I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. I'm a nighttime DoorDash delivery guy. Things get spooky at night. Feels like I just entered level five of the back rooms. That's one of the most comforting hotels I've or apartment complexes I've ever seen. You really did a little pee-pee in your pants because of that? Well, this is what it's like delivering DoorDash. Okay, look at this. I kid you not. I'd turn around if I were you. Uh, yeah, in this situation, I'm gonna have to pepper spray each one of your skeletons just to be sure. Looks like the upcoming recession. This is Jeremy with DoorDash. We have Birmingham PD. We have Birmingham PD following us to your home because your card declined and the order still went through. Would they really do that? Maybe after the, the DoorDash glitch, they probably would actually. Yeah, that one's also getting pepper sprayed. Okay, this is DoorDash. They left it on the wood. Oh my gosh, I opened it up stump. on the stump. Wood outside, roaches all in. Look at that. You know what I'm thankful for in all this? I'm thankful that I get to sit at a lot of restaurants and fast food places and see how the workers are when they think no one's watching. Like a few employees just casually scratching their literal ass. Like, not just the outside of the ass, right? Two layers deep, at least. You know, if that isn't spooky, I don't know what is. So I think that's a good one to end on. Um, we need a palate cleanser, though. We do need a palate cleanser. Sometimes I go to sleep and I cry. Asking God why. So I was like, man, let me come up here. Uh, to do the outro, it's beautiful, it's windy as fuck. Yeah, so as I record this, there is maybe the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life right next to me. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna do this really quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Yeah, that's all I got. Bye-bye. God, it's a giant spider, dude.